I am Juliet from Spoilt Rotten Beads and today I am going to show you how to make these gorgeous wire wrapped cuffs which we do as a kit in two beautiful colourways, the lavender that I'm holding here and the um, coral pink that I'm going to show you how to make in a moment. Once you get your kit, you'll find you have two strands of beautiful Preciosa glass pearl beads. You'll have um, a pack of 1.25 millimeter silver plated copper wire that's got a lovely non-tarnish coating to it. Um, you'll have a pack of 0.4 mil silver plated non-tarnish wire. And then you'll have um, some really pretty little barley style um, spacer beads. Additional items not included in your kit that you're going to need are um, a pair of wire working mandrels, um, a set of chain nose pliers and some side cutters. When you open your kit, the first thing you want to do is take all of the pearls off their temporary strands. You've got two nice little piles of pearls there. Then take the thicker wire, that's the 1.25 mil wire, and you need to cut yourself um, a nice long piece of wire, about um, 30 centimeters long. And, and you get um, three meters in your pack size, so you're gonna have a lot of wire left over. It's great value, this kit, because you can make quite a few bracelets with it. Um, and then you also need to take the um, thicker of your two wire working mandrels. What you want to do is to start wrapping that wire around that mandrel to create loops there I'm using quite the the, the, um, the mandrel quite close to the end because I don't want my, my loops to be too big and I'm going to space these loops out approximately um, an inch apart and I'm going to alternate them backwards and forwards um, along the length of my wire like so and I'm going to continue making these loops until I've got about eight loops is probably enough for an average size bangle. You see I'm not worried too much about the spacing um, because once you start beading these up um, you, a little bit of randomness works really nicely actually in this design. Let me count my loops there, how many have I got? So I'll probably add one more there and that will probably be long enough. You see I've got a length of wire now with those eight loops on and I'm going to start just bending that round gently just to make it into that cuff shape. And then that's about right there now that's a nice a nice cuff shape there. So now I can take my cutters there and I'm going to trim off the ends of my wire and I want to trim off really close up so that I've not got a sharp tail of wire that's going to stick out and and stab you whilst you're wearing your bangle. And so I'm going to trim off the other end here. And when you've trimmed off both ends, you can then use your chain nose pliers just to tuck those ends in so that they're snug up against the um, other side of the wire there. And then you're not going to have any sharp edges there to to stab you whilst you're wearing your bangle. So that's the bangle frame. It doesn't look much at the moment, but once you start adding the beads up onto it, um, it's amazing the difference that makes. So um, don't be disheartened at this stage. They do look very basic at this stage. But once we start adding the beads, they just look really gorgeous. So um, I'm going to come back to you in a moment when I start using my um, thinner 0.4 mil wire. Now I've moved on to my thinner 0.4 mil wire and I've cut myself about two meter length here. And again, um, you will have lots of wire left over because you get 20 meters of wire in this kit pack. So you have lots left over to make more bangles with. So I've got two meters of this wire. I'm gonna take the end of the wire and I'm gonna grip it against the um, one of the ends of my bangle there, like that, quite close to this loop here. And I'm gonna begin wrapping the wire around, pulling it tight. You can see from my finger there how tight I'm pulling it. And I'm gonna move up that last loop on the bangle just to wrap the ends of it. And again, that's gonna stop any sharp edges from um, jabbing into you as you wear your piece because you're covering up the end there. Once I've got sort of about halfway up the loop, I'm gonna wrap back down again in the other direction until I reach about there like so. And now what I can do is use my cutters to trim off this tail of wire, like that. And my chain nose pliers 
just to squidge that in so um, it doesn't stick up and I can just wrap that end into my design there so again there's no sharp edges. Now I'm ready to start adding the beads. So to begin with I'm going to use one of these um, larger six millimeter beads. I'm going to find the end of my wire um, and I'm going to thread that six millimeter bead onto the wire and take it all the way down to the bangle like so. And you can see how the wire is coming up the inside of my bangle there. So um, to attach that bead, I'm gonna take the wire over the other side of the bangle frame. So it's going up one side and then down the other. So I'm gonna position that bead where I want it to stay um, and then wrap around that bangle frame that we just made a couple of times like that. And that bead is nice and securely fastened there. And then I'm gonna start adding some more of my um, different other side be size beads. I'm going to add this time um, my four mil pearls and also some of my lovely little barley spacer beads here as well. So I'm going to thread on uh, a barley spacer bead and a pearl and then another barley spacer bead. So I'm going to use three beads at once. Now I'm going to bring those down to the bangle frame there we go like so and once again um, my wire comes up one side of my bangle frame so I want it to go back down the other side of my bangle frame so it goes up one side and down the other and I'm going to wrap around a couple of times to secure that and then what you can start to do is use the thin mandrel that you have um, to create these beautiful little springs here, which I think look a little bit like a vine and make um, all of the beads look like um, a vine climbing around that bangle frame. So to do that, what you need to do is to um, take your thinner mandrel, and this is where you kind of need three hands really sometimes I think and I'm resting it against my chest here um, and I'm going to wrap the wire around the very thinnest part of the mandrel like that and then slide the mandrel out and what I'll have is that little spring there and I can now position that spring over that loop and um, thread my wire back up through the loop there to secure it against the bangle frame and keep it in place. So I'm going to go back up through that loop. You have to be careful with this wire that you don't kink it. If you see a kink starting to appear, then do just um, straighten it out before it becomes a problem. Okay, okay it's starting to get a little bit twisted, so I'm going to untwist that. So I've wrapped it around and there you see I've secured that nice little um, spring there against the um, against that loop. And I'm going to continue all the way around my bracelet until I get to the other side. So I've gone all the way around my bangle frame once now until I'm on the other side. And um, what I need to do now is to make this side match that side there. So I've still got the same piece of wire and I'm going to wrap this wire around that end loop, again covering up the end there. And then once I get about halfway up, I'm going to wrap back down again towards the beads, like so. And now these two ends both match up. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the bracelet again adding more beads onto the frame so that it looks nice and full like this purple one does here. So I'm just going to continue on in exactly the same way as I did before until I get to the other end. So I've now gone all the way around my bangle twice and you can see it's looking really nice and full now. And I've reached the end and what I'm going to do is take the end of my wire and I'm just going to tuck it in there um, down in between a couple of beads and some and, and one of the um, wraps of wire. Pull that nice and tight and then use my um, cutters to trim off the end 
and then flatten down that little tail of wire using my chain nose pliers like so. And you can see I've got lots of beads left over and also lots of wire left over. So there's enough there to make another one of these lovely bangles. The other thing about these bangles that um, is, is really good fun is um, you can make them bigger and open them out and make them into a choker. <clears throat> they look beautiful as bridal jewellery um, and using crystals um, as well as the pearls as well. And in fact, I have even made one for a bride once um, and made a really big one, um, really wide, um, that was used as a wedding cake topper. So there's an awful lot you can do with this technique. So I've finished my bracelet now and I'm wearing it. It matches my top nicely. Thank you very much for watching.